Hi, this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings, and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. And today, I want to show you how to do this pinwheel. And we're going to be using the new stamp set Painter's Pal Palette. And what we're going to need is, I've got a, a, a piece of uh, Whisper White, 3.5 by 3.5, and, and I marked the center of it. And I'm going to be using three colors of reds. So now you can use any colors, any three colors you want. You can use two colors if you want to also. But I'm going to be using Rose Red, Calypso Coral, and Blushing Bride. And I'm going to start with the lightest one first with this Blushing Bride. And I'm going to use this one. This is the second largest uh, swash. You can also use the smallest one if you want. But I like using this and it will make a, a perfect thing. So you're inking up, tap, tap, tap. And you see the biggest side right there. I'm going to use that and it's going to go over the center right there. So then I'm going to put another one on directly across from that. Oh, I see that one. Then I'm going to put another one on halfway and then another one across from that. Then I'm going to quarter those. Now if you want you could use just four. I'm using eight because I want it more like a sunburst or a pinwheel. So there I got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to change colors and I'm going to use the Calypso Coral, the next lightest. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to ink up and I'm going to just, first off, I'm going to go in between one of those. Then I'm going to go directly across from that. Then a quarter. Then another quarter. And so you're putting them almost in between the Blushing Bride ones. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rose red. And again, just going to tap, tap, tap. And then I am going to put this between one of the Blushing Brides and one of the Calypso Corals. And I'm going to go directly across. And then all you really have to do is you're just going to be filling it in. There you go. And then what you want to do is you want to put a circle, punch out a circle. I used uh, just a cut um, with the swirly um, dies. Um, but I'm going to show you on There's a Card Thursday how to make a full card with that. So thanks for visiting and happy stamping.